Well, Fox 5 is your local election headquarters, and with less than a month until Election Day, we are taking a closer look at some of our local races, like the race for Poway City Council District 4. The candidates include Kaylin Frank, who is the incumbent. She is running against Jenny Maeda. And Jenny joins us now to talk about her run for Poway's District 4 seat. Jenny, thanks for being here and Hi, joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so you are a UC San Diego grad, yes. a teacher. Mm -hmm. You've lived in Poway with your family for the past dozen years. Tell mm -hmm. us about yourself a little bit. Tell us why you want to run for city council. Um, well, I have three kids, 16, 14, and 12, and I'm mostly a mom. I also teach, like you were saying, um, and I actually don't want to run for city council. Um, it, what happened was a week before the deadline, I saw that there was no one running against the incumbent, mm. and I kind of felt like it was my turn to step up and do the right thing um, because the incumbent was only living in Poway for three months before she was appointed to the council, so she just doesn't do what's best for Poway. She does what's best for her political career, and that was really concerning to me. So talk about some of the challenges you think are facing Poway right now, and what are your top priorities? Well, my top priority is the, um, the overdevelopment. So I'm in District 4, which is South Poway, and we get stuck with all the developments that they don't want in North Poway, so we've got like four-story um, luxury apartments that are still at 14% capacity. We have the battery storage facility that was just um, approved, and we have this giant Amazon warehouse, and all these things violate the original city ordinances. So you come in not as a politician. No. I mean, I don't know if we've ever interviewed somebody who says, I don't want this yeah, job necessarily. Yeah, I don't really want it. We appreciate that, <laughs> that honesty. So tell us, you know, as a mom, as a just member of the community for mm -hmm. the past dozen years, what you think needs to be done in local government that maybe isn't done by, by people who are currently there. I think we need to return um, the power to people who actually love Poway and are from Poway and put Poway first. Um, small businesses, obviously vital to the community. What are you going to do when you're on council? So um, my district actually probably has the largest portion of um, businesses because Poway Road all along there. Um, and I, I've heard that the permitting process for Poway is one of the most difficult of all the cities. So I try to streamline that, make things easier for them as well. Do you think there's things that politicians don't get about just Main Street, everyday people? Yes. <laughs> what, 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 is, what is that? What like, is that? To you, like, what do you see that maybe you know, they're, like you said, maybe they're, they're focused on their career or they're, I'm not saying that's particularly happening with anybody specifically, but just that's kind of what you indicated. So what is it that you think they don't understand about the, you know, the Main Street? Um, I think they just don't understand that we don't care so much about power and money and fame of Poway because they have said that they want Poway to be a destination place mm -hmm. for other people, but we're a family city, so we don't necessarily want to be a huge destination. We just want it to keep it safe and beautiful the way it's always been before. Well, you have several eyes on you right now. Uh, you know, if you're going to make a pitch as to why you're the best candidate, uh, what would you say to everybody? Um, I would be the best candidate just because I love Poway and I'm deeply rooted and deeply invested in Poway. And um, I just am fighting to bring back government of the people, by the people, for the people of Poway.